What up, best friends? Welcome back to the channel. So I have two wigs from Nadula, and I'm here to show you. So we're gonna do a battle of the wigs, okay? So um, they are showcasing their new wigs. So this is wig one, and this is a traditional frontal. So when I say traditional, um, it comes with your lace, your frontal lace. It has a lace attached, and you have to bleach the hair and pluck it and give it baby hairs, make it yours, you know? You have to put that little sauce on it to make it look like yours, you feel me? And it, it requires a lot of work, enough work, I will say. And so, yeah, so this is the packaging and everything that comes with it. Now this is wig number two, and this is their ready to wear unit, all right? And I am loving the ready to wear units in the closure forms, okay? This is their package again, and this is 24 inches, and I'm just showing you what the packages say. One is a frontal transparent lace, 13 by four, um, and this is what they look like. This one, as you can see, is the ready to wear. It has all the bleach knots. Baby hair is plucked and the lace is cut versus one that you have to do all of that too. So basically today's video is going to just see how long it takes to do an install, all right? So these are the caps and as you can see, the caps are different. This one is a breathable cap. It comes with an elastic band and it fits amazing, okay? And this one is your traditional cap. It comes with combs, adjustable straps, and an elastic band. So I would say the ready to wear unit, this one that's this in my hand, is a lightweight unit. It's not heavy whatsoever. So in order to give this a fair race, let's bleach the unit, the traditional units. I'm gonna use half a scoop of bleach, and I'm gonna mix the same amount of developer and mix it together and, and apply it all over the traditional wig. So I'm gonna let the bleach sit on the unit for about 25 minutes. I am going to avoid the middle part because it's already bleached and I don't want to over bleach it. All right, so let's wash the unit, okay? So I'm gonna make sure that all of the bleach is off the wig and just make sure that it just stopped processing. And yeah, you see me thoroughly making sure that the bleach is off. And once I do get all the bleach off of the unit, you can see now that all the knots are bleached. I'm gonna take vanilla, no yellow, purple shampoo, take a little bit in my hand, and then massage it on the lace to tone out the brassy knots. Now I'm gonna use the same purple shampoo to wash the wig, okay? Cause <laughs> we're trying to save products around here. So I'm gonna just lather that on up and then rinse the purple shampoo off you do not want to leave that on there for a long time because it will turn your knots up gray so this is the closure wig the ready to wear wig i flat ironed her off um my head i don't like the flat iron on my head and this is the traditional i had to do baby hairs i had to pluck it a little bit so you can see that the traditional wig is a little bit more work all right so because this is a glueless unit, we're gonna start off with wig two, which is the ready to wear unit. And I'm gonna just show you that this is a two minute install, girl. Like, do you hear me? A two minute install. So I'm gonna just put her on my head, adjust her to how I want her to sit. And I'm just looking at her. I'm combing it through because this hair is ridiculously soft. Like it is buttery. And you know, I'm, I'm good at flat ironing, so that helps it as well. So I'm gonna use some spritz. This is my favorite spritz product. Spritz come in different uh, flavors, you feel me? But I like to use this one and my edge brush and I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and lay down my baby hairs cause I like baby hairs that's put, that doesn't move. 
um i don't like them molded to my face anymore but i like them to be a little bit more tamed if you understand what i'm saying so i'm gonna just go through and just brush the baby hairs down I noticed that the part was a little bit too wide for my liking so I did go in with some hair semi-permanent hair dye because it will wash off eventually and I'm just closing in the part now this is optional you do not have to do this this is not required for your install this is just my preference and how I like my wigs to look so all I did with this wig is I did wash it um, I am using the baby hair that were provided um, I did flat iron this hair off camera because I would get a better flat iron job when it's off my head I don't like to flat iron hair when it's on me I get too hot all I did was take some adore hair color and the darkest brown and I closed them apart a little bit but if you were one of the girlies that just likes to take out their wig and put it on their head this is the wig for you because it's literally a one minute install like literally a one minute install if you decide to flat iron it a little longer but no longer than 15 minutes, okay? This is a on the go wig, and she looks so good, you guys. But if you're a girly like me that is kind of like self-conscious about the little flap in the front, all you have to do is take some, um, your Red by Kiss style fixer, spray a little bit on your comb, put it on the edge of the lace, just so you can get that little melt effect, and blow dry it down, tie it down, or whatever your whole zhuzh is and it will lay super flat and it'll super flush and it'll, you can never tell what's going on okay so yes now let's put on wig number two so now we have our traditional wig where the lace is attached and you still have it's not the breathable and it's not the breathable cap but you still have adjustable straps and you still have the elastic band so let's put her on So for this install, you can use numerous of different products that you like. You can use Boho Liquid Gold. You can use uh, Boho Active. You can use Lace Spray. You can use Got To Be Glue. You can go glueless. But for me, I'm going to keep the wig on a little longer. So we're going to go glueless. So you guys already know that my favorite product to use is my Style Fixer by Red by Kiss. And you guys know I work in sections. So we're going to do a section at a time. I'm going to spray it, blow dry it down. Let it get tacky, lay the legs down, and completely blow dry it until it's fully blow dried, and then we're gonna move on to the next section. You want to take whatever you use to cut off your lace. I'm going to take uh, this razor and I am just going to kind of tug my lace and cut so it can automatically come out jagged. That's the look that we're going for. It'll look more natural if you do it like that. Never cut in a straight line. Got it? Now that the unit is down, we're going to go ahead and curl the baby hairs and lay them down.
a little spritz in your edge brush. One side of the baby hairs always look better than the other, but anyway, this side is thicker than this side. Whatever, I'll fix later. But so now, at this point, you wanna pin your hair up and do your melting. I'm gonna use spritz to melt, and I'm just gonna spray my hairline on the edge. An elastic band. let it marinate so at this point I'm gonna just go in and touch up my hairline like press it out and all this other stuff so we can have a flawless install so altogether this particular install took me about 15 to 20 minutes so the question is, would you prefer a two minute install versus a 15 to 20 minute install? And I just feel like it's preference at the end of the day. I myself love both because the closure wig, I could just throw one and go, but this one I could take my time and customize it to how I like it to look, okay? I could add as thick as baby hairs as I want. I could pluck it as much as I want. Not saying that you can't do that with the other wig, but it's just for convenience purposes. If you are one of those girls that are not comfortable with plucking and bleaching and doing baby hairs and all of that jazz that come with it, cutting the lace, a lot of people do not like cutting the lace, then I would highly suggest the first wig to you guys because it's just effortless and it's an easy install besides washing it and flat ironing it. I hope you guys liked the battle of the wigs, all right? And I'm going to show you this wig close up after it's been melted and everything. She looks amazing, so amazing. For the girls who got a big head, I am a 22.5, 23. She, they both are big head friendly. So these wigs are from the doula. I will have both of them linked below in the description box for you guys. And if you have any questions, you can always leave them down below in the comment section and I will be down there to answer it, okay? Okay, until next time, bye best friend. So, would you wear wig number one, the traditional style? And granted, with flat ironing and customizing and all of that, it's going to probably take you about maybe an hour and 30 minutes to get this down. Or would you like wig number two, with, which is a glueless unit, and with flat ironing, it might take you at least 35 minutes to get this down. I choose wig number two. I like glueless. I like ready to go. <laughs> My big best friend.